The internet is teeming with advice on how to create good quality, great content, all that kind of stuff. But they all seem to be missing one important component. Hey, how's it going? Ryan Caswell from b2bleads.com, business to business lead gen, marketing and sales strategies. And today I want to talk about how to create great content for LinkedIn, but specifically around the one component that I feel is really lacking in the industry. Now, being uh, having a background in engineering and being a quite a technical person, I feel like this often gets missed, and that is how to create content efficiently. So everyone's always concentrating on how to create better and better content, more and more content, when really a lot of the focus or a lot of the um, results can come purely just by doing it more efficiently and keeping it consistent. So there's this big push to create more and more content so that you're constantly being seen. But really, you only need a handful of touch points with any particular prospect to get them to build enough trust to want to get on a call and then move into more of a traditional sales process. So why do you need to create, you know, a thousand different pieces of content? And it's really important to make the distinction between where you are in business and comparing yourself to like these giant companies that have the resources to pump out, you know, 20,000 pieces of content every week. If you're not at that point yet, you really need a system to be more efficient and to keep your quality content on repeat. So for any small business, you don't need to create, you know, posts going out on LinkedIn every day. And in terms of the type of content, I'll cover that more in another video. And it doesn't really matter whether it's, you know, text, content, um, images, video. I mean, I'm a huge fan of video because I think there's a lot of trust that can be established through all the different forms of communication on a video, but it really depends on what you tend to resonate with and what your audience is gonna resonate with. But when I'm working with my clients, I tell them there's really only 12 ideas that you need, and that can cover you for an entire year. So if you come up with 12 core ideas, 12 evergreen concepts that you can then create an, a video a podcast around, um, an article around, an article on LinkedIn, and then split that at, out into separate posts, even four different posts per article or per idea, and then you can repost those throughout the year, you can create this ongoing cycle of content that's always cycling through and is always different and always new, but covering these 12 key ideas without you having to do anything. Once it's set up, it can just work in the background. And it's more effective because you're only focusing on 12 really good ideas rather than a hundred, you know, a thousand passive kind of crappy ideas. And you're constantly getting that in front of your client's eyeballs. So when it comes to creating content on LinkedIn, I'll leave you with a few bits of advice. First of all, don't try to do it ad hoc as you go throughout the week. Oh, I need to do a post today or I need to do a post whenever. The problem is, is this pulls you away from doing actual important work. And if you have to do it, you know, or you got actual client work going on, it's not going to happen and it's not going to stay consistent. So make some time, whether that's an entire day, maybe even block out an entire week to come up with all your ideas that you're going to have on repeat ongoing. So first of all, block out some time to come up with your core ideas and then make sure you allocate some time to create the resources or find someone to create the resources for you. You can get great copywriters, video editors, all that sort of stuff on Upwork if you're busy and then schedule it out. You don't wanna be taking time out of your day to be doing this manually yourself. So like I said, it doesn't really matter the type of content that you're creating. You just want to be staying consistent and have good quality content consistently going out to your network so you stay front of mind and build that trust over time. Hope that's been helpful. As always, have a great day. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe if you found it useful. And if there's anything you wanna see me cover in regard to business to business, lead gen, marketing and sales strategy, please just leave a comment below. I'm always checking those and looking for new and interesting ideas. Thanks again, have a good one.